The recipe for a great crime thriller has to be the classic three um, setting and I tend to use real place. Um, I don't make up some city somewhere, but I use actual places and actual streets and actual restaurants. So setting is a very important part of my books. Character, you've got to create characters that people care about, either because they like them very much or they dislike them very much. And then of course plot, your story. Your story has to move along. Your story has to be believable. In the case of a thriller, it's okay to throw in clues that are red herrings, but you better make them make sense, you better tie them off because thriller readers are very sophisticated and they're very demanding about that kind of thing. And I think part of your job is also as a thriller writer to keep the reader guessing, that's part of the fun, for the reader to try to solve the mystery before you tell them the answer at the end. But as a reader, if I do figure it out, I'm a little bit disappointed. So you do want to have that surprise ending, that twist ending. I think one of the things that makes my novels unique is that they are science-driven thrillers. They're good old-fashioned murder mysteries, and the most important thing is the story. Um, but they're driven by science, and in each of them I use a different kind of science, and I think the fact that I work regularly at crime scenes, at autopsies, in the crime lab, gives my books a certain authenticity. I think my readers like to think they've learned something, and I'm absolutely fanatic about getting the science correct. So when they read it, you have to keep the science brief, you have to keep it entertaining, you have to keep it jargon free, you can't use all this special terminology we use among ourselves as scientists. Um, but I also am an fanatic about keeping it accurate. So when my readers think they've learned a little bit about mitochondrial DNA or about you know, toxicology, they have in fact. Temperance Brennan is based to a large extent on me professionally. She does exactly what I do. She commutes between North Carolina and Quebec. Um, she works in a medical legal lab. She's a fairly strong-willed, strong-minded, very intelligent woman. Um, she has a good sense of humor. My friends tell me when they read things Tempe says that they can just hear me saying the same things. But I wanted the character to be imperfect. I wanted her to have flaws, things she's dealing with. So I gave her the alcoholism and the fractured marriage and the somewhat fragmentary social life just to make her approachable, to not make her a superwoman type of uh, central character.